Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamaza here, and this evening's video will be talking about the demonology nerfs that hit a few days ago. I have been making guys and things, haven't gotten around to making this video yet. But the more interesting part, we're also talking a bit about an undocumented change that hit PCR for Destruction Warlock playing the Clash Trinket, the Echo Notharian one, a few days ago. Wasn't mentioned anywhere, but it adds a lot of value to the two-minute build with Wilfred's or Grand Warlock's design, and devalues the trinket for the three-minute build a lot as well. Fingers crossed for two-minute build being better. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Like always, we cores, add-ons, links down below, Twitch and Discord, all for free for you guys. Uh, Twitter, links appear, all kind of stuff. Patreon, if you want to support there, which I greatly appreciate. With that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so getting into the class tuning here that happened a few days ago, or is happening whenever the patch hits on Tuesday, basically. Uh, these are the buffs, or I guess the nerfs that came into Warlock. Dev note, Demonology received some powerful single target additions, their talent tree and patch 10.0.7. We're making adjustments based on what we've seen, for testing, a lot of stuff. We'll keep an eye on Demo alongside Af and Destro and appreciate feedback. The changes here, Reign of Tyranny, now increases damage of Demonic Tyrant by 40%, was 50%, so a bit of a nerf to Reign of Tyranny, a bit being the key word there, and Immutable Hatred, well, words, however you want to word it, Immutable Hatred now increases the damage of Legion Strike by 100%, was 120%. Now, in... So, Immutable Hatred had a handful of bugs fixed with it. It was actually buffing Grimoire Felguard up until about a week and a half ago on retail and on PTR. It had been a bug for so long, it was actually implemented in raid bots and SimCraft. Sims, which doesn't really happen because it, would, it lasted so long. So, the Sims were reflecting the extra damage that Grimoire was dealing. When the bug was fixed, the Sims were fixed. With the Sims being fixed, Immutable Hatred builds started falling behind Hitler builds again in Sims. So... Looking at the raw numbers here, this is the pre-nerf stuff, all that. Pre-nerf, Immutable Hatred, with the bug fixes in. Not this nerf here. The actual fixes from retail a week and a half ago is behind by about 760 PS, comparatively to the Pit Lord build. I'll pull up both builds here to show you briefly. This is the Immutable Hatred build. I might have it up here already. I do. This is the Hatred build, once again, playing Hatred, all that, uh, Ring of Tyranny, and just one point in Nether Portal. Comparatively to the Pit Lord build, which is playing pretty much it's playing the entire portal of the tree and not playing immutable hatred is playing there we go this instead so full another portal full pit lord all that grabbing and torrin and expendables but not any kind of hatred stuff here uh like i said before as well this build sustains less damage sustaining 50k 45k right around there roughly outside of your big big damage spikes with, with pit lord and cds you're hitting 350 i've seen over half a million DPS with better gear and PIs and things. It can be very, very strong, exceptionally bursty. Hatred, not as much burst, still a decent bit, but more sustain. 50k, 60k, all that. However, with the nerfs coming in, uh, once again, pre-nerf here, Hatred being about 109.6, Pitler being about 110.3. Post-nerf, the Tyrant changes. Uh, keep an eye on both here. Uh, <laughs> pre-nerf Pitlord. 110355 post nerf 109337 and hatred uh, lost a bit more, bit more ground because they nerfed hatred as well that affected both hatred and ram tyranny in this build here it's now behind by about 1370 dps comparatively to here being behind by about 700 so a bit of give and take and honestly if you're in a setting where pit lord is just not very convenient or the fight dies before before third portal or whatever you very well still might just play immutable hatred build only playing one point another portal or even putting it somewhere else the builds aren't that far off disparity wise where you would just say all right we're never playing hatred again but the nerfs that came in uh did indeed impact it a bit however demonology is still in a very good spot heading into avarice in 10.1 and we will see where next week goes now the other changes worth mentioning is actually to destruction and the class trinket now therians call the dominance so up until i believe some build this week i'm not sure when it happened exactly with all the guides everything being filmed and stuff so the way the Clash Trinket worked is that whenever you summoned your Infernal or your Dark Glare or your Tyrant being your main cooldown for the spec, you get the massive intellect buff that it brings. But Destro is a bit different. Destro, if you were in, if you were playing the two-piece, four-piece, being Avatar and Ritual of Ruin, it was whenever you procced an Avatar, you would also get whatever stacks you had from the Clash Trinket. Now this meant that you might have had, I guess, procs a bit more often, but it really wouldn't stack past maybe two or three stacks for the most part max however that has changed at some point over the last week or so meaning that i guess on the uh brighter side of things you know uh the clash rank get procs only with your infernal now only with infernal 
So, I mean, you'll have that large intellect left when you pop your Infernal, but on, you know, the, the downside, the negative part of things, your Infernal is three minutes long. It's a three minute cooldown. And honestly, Infernal really doesn't do a whole lot in general now anyways. It used to be a strong cooldown. Now it's just some button you hit for a bit, a bit more shard gen. These talents are incredibly undertuned for the most part. However, that does raise some questions about is Grand Warlock's design possibly worth playing as destruction? And just to show you here, I have four stacks of the trinket here. I'm going to proc a Blasphemy and show how it gives me, well, it doesn't proc. So there's 12 stacks. There's my proc. There are the stacks. I'm going to launch this bolt to proc the Blasphemy and watch the stacks. They do no longer disappear. They stay the entire time. Now, once again, if you Infernal, if I drop my Infernal, there they all go, and there's the stack for 6k. Basically, 1k per stack. So, there is more relevancy around your main cooldown. Now, this might possibly be an attempt from Blizzard to push you maybe a bit more towards a 2-minute Infernal build. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe uh, that's the case. Either way, the problem with that is that both Infernal, Brand, and Crashing Chaos are incredibly undertuned and just not very... It's a bit convoluted and a bit almost redundant with how... Shard gen things work with your infernal being down with crashing chaos. It's awkward with burn to ashes, all the above. But at the same time, the clash rank it typically stacks to 10 stacks within two minutes. So you're sitting at 10 stacks for a minute, waiting on your infernal, not getting value more often. It's very, very awkward. Now it raises the question of where does a build, let's say playing something like, you know, uh, no avatar, still gonna want some amount of burn to ashes, right? But maybe playing no avatar destruction. You pull this point here if I can leave combat. You pull this point here, pull this point here, and likely go crashing chaos in single target. And then you have an option to pull a point from somewhere else. It's either embers or burned ashes. I'm gonna pull burned ashes. I have simmed both pulling the point from embers and pulling the point from here. Doing this combination does indeed sim a little better. Now, thank THG by the way. He mentioned this to me uh, a couple of days ago. By the way, uh, this build here. I have the sims so the three minute build with you know just trinket proccing only infernal only on infernal sims at, with this current gear that I have on at about 100k the two minute build sims at 98 849 and looking at overall clash trinket sims this is where we're sitting now for destro the clash trinket playing the three minute build here has dropped off considerably it used to be your best option if not very close to it now it is not as good by a decent margin. It's still not terrible. These sims might not be totally on point. They're sort of last minute, uh, just, you know, early implementations of the actual trinket being changed. But either way, it's not as strong by a decent bit. However, if you look at playing a two minute build, the varying damage profiles are interesting. Let me move this here. So you end up getting decent burst on pull, whether you're playing three or two, but keep in mind the clan trinket won't proc on pull. You might get maybe a stack or two but just casting incinerates, emulates and things on pull, but you're not gonna have that eight stack, that nine stack, that 10 stack rolling the moment you put your, the moment you put your infernal down on pull with less than everything else. The value from the clash rank, it comes from CDs later into the fight when you're popping second tyrant, third tyrant, second dark lair, third dark lair, and later infernals. And as we know, having a two minute damage profile for Destro feels much better. And honestly, in a lot of settings, plays a good, a good bit better as well being able to say okay instead of this build here being three minutes where you have seed on pole like everybody else and you have your infernal here with a max clash trinket stack you can say okay i'm gonna have cds here and here you might not peak as high necessarily peaking at about 140k here and about 140 here as well compared to i'd assume 160 or so with this probably uh, 160 yeah but it's a more consistent profile if there's ad spawning at this point in the fight right here compared to right here or if you want cds more often for whatever reason if it's a hazard fight you can get an infernal at like two and four zero two four versus you know one and three chances are decent it plays out better in that scenario if you change timings in these sims for example to four and a half minutes four twenty ish chances are high this build would be higher than this build by a little bit do you once again the timings uh fight design damage profiles all of that so i'm curious to see where this goes i think in pure single target three minute builds likely a little better still but if you need that two minute damage profile like on possibly forgotten experiments maybe amalgamation chamber maybe 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 even the if you're playing a cleave based build or possibly assault of the assault of the zakali is what's called i believe zakali assault whatever it is maybe even an m plus kind of thing there is some rising value 
with two minute destro. Once again, you need to class drink it, but hey, uh, well, you know, <laughs> just keep your fingers crossed that you get it early on and then no problems. Also, by the way, if you're playing this build, uh, you are a literal machine gun of chaos bolts. Uh, very briefly, put my infernal down. Let's cast our token CDF here and watch the chaos bolts fly. Watch my shard gen. You just gen shards forever. Bolt, bolt, conflagrate, bolt, bolt. I'm getting no soul conduit refunds here. It doesn't really even matter because they're bolting for days because a proc coming up right about here. There's my proc, bolt again. I've cast nothing but chaos bolts and conflagrates for the first basically half minute of this fight. That's crashing chaos. And if you pair that with a 10 stack from your class trinket once every two minutes with maybe even popping your Iridius fragment at the same time with that, you know what? Let's just take a look at it briefly in combat. So let's just say you're in combat. You're, there's two targets here. You already cast your CDF or whatever. You've got a 10 stack of your trinket plus a Rydius fragment or whatever you're playing, Explorers and Otheris, whatever, what have you, a trinket rolling into your Infernal, basically double on use with, with, with a two minute Infernal. Running in, both targets were in combat. Get this roll in here, get flashpoint up, put your Infernal down and just watch the sheer amount of Chaos Bolts you cast here. One. Two, conflagrate, why not? We're over capping, sure. Three, four, five. I only want to conflagrate because I'm a little worried about over cap. Six, seven, immolate, eight, we'll conflagrate. There's nine, there's ten. And with more shard gen coming in, decent soul conduit procs, you get 10, 11 cast bolts in a row. And having that profile every two minutes versus every three, having that strong double intellect profile as well, I'm not even flask, potion, file, tier, whatever, nothing. Having that profile that you can allocate to a part of a fight, we saw it on, you saw it on Anduin, for example, being able to blow up ads, being able to kill the downstairs, you know, mini boss in the Lich King. Then coming upstairs, killing adds, having that huge Havoc Cleave profile. If a fight dictates or wants that kind of damage profile, this version of Destro could be a solid go-to. We weren't even playing Rolling Havoc here. You can play it in single target with CDF and Raging. You can play it in Havoc Cleave with Rolling Havoc. And honestly, if you obtain a Clash Trinket in Mythic Plus and you're looking for that really strong damage profile, there are ways to customize this build to get Rain of Fire, Pyrogenics, Inferno, and all of the AOE elements, maybe barring, you know, a couple things here and there. The main part of it also in AOE. I'm not saying two minute Inferno is back, but there's a possibility, depending on what build you play, if you get the trinket early on, what you have, it might see some play next year. Fingers crossed, because like I said, two minute Destro versus three, it's literally two different specs. That should wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, answer the questions you might have had about the demo nerfs that came in a few days ago, as well as the undocumented Destro changes to the class trinket that I guess hit at some point. I don't know over the past few days. Uh, having it tied to Infernal only is awkward if you're not playing Grand Warlock's design. This could be Blizzard's attempt to push us into Grand Warlock's design and that part of the class tree, but unfortunately, Crash and Chaos and Infernal brand are very bad and very undertuned. Just anti-synergistic and things, but uh, hey, you know, we'll see where it goes. Two Minute Infernal feels good. Unfortunately, Crashing Chaos and Infernal brand are the toll you have to pay to get there. But having it not tied to Blasphemies, I can see it being better and worse both ways. The fact of the matter is, it will bring a stronger two minute profile or a stronger three minute profile if you want to see these at this point in time. But it's going to be a bit of a flatter profile, not procking off of... Maybe not flatter, a bit of a, a lower average profile, seeing as how you proc blast me every once like once every what 20-ish seconds. You won't have that intellect buff being a lesser buff so, as often, but honestly, it's probably better in the long run if you're looking to allocate CDs to a certain point in the fight. At the same time, having two minute infernal in the plus with a huge cl like clash trinket effect could be pretty good too. So we'll uh see where it all goes. Like always, we chorus add-ons and profiles, link to Twitch and Discord down below. We're all for free for you guys. And to a similar extent, I want to give one huge shout out again to my patrons. You guys for all the support on Patreon. Thank you a million times. I really appreciate it. If you're looking at supporting on Patreon, it should be a link up here as well as down below in the video description. We are less than a week away from the raid opening, less than a day away from the patch hitting, and I'm excited. I I'm pumped for Warlock stuff. I'm curious to see how class tuning goes. If there is more before the raid, I don't think there will be maybe some item tuning i wouldn't be surprised if the class trinket gets hit at some point it's very strong uh, we'll see what happens there but at a certain point i think if you're blizzard you have to just say hey uh we've tuned uh, as much as we, as much as we can at this point we're hands off until the race is over because tuning too late changes things that shouldn't 
tuning things too late, buffing and nerfing too late changes too much. And for guilds that are planning on things being the way they are, it's not a good look. But we'll see where it goes. So, yeah. Uh, with all that being said, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you again soon on stream. Peace.